What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. You're watching Backtrack Cinema, and welcome to my 31 Days of Horror. And today, guys, we're doing Camp Blood Survival, a tournament with 16 great final girls, 16 iconic horror villains that are all mixed up in the bunch. The first round uh, that we're going to do is going to be a final girl or final boy against an iconic horror villain. And then we're going to discuss it and everything and then see who goes on to the next round and stuff like that. And I'm just doing this completely alone, guys. So let me know, guys, what you think about this video because I've never done this tournament style video before but it i see a lot of people doing these it looks like a lot of fun man so and i will have an action one coming out in the, the future after all this horror content is over but uh yeah so let me know in the comments about what you guys think let me know uh what do you think who the winners should be all that jazz i don't know at this moment who the winner is gonna be so we're just gonna we're gonna have some fun with this one man this one's gonna be a lot of fun i think to match up some final girls against some horror icons and what what i was thinking really is that we're all at camp blood we're at crystal lake at night what final girl what she did in her movies her characterization how would they match up against this horror icon and you know what i mean so this will be a lot of fun so let's just get over to the bracket tournament and let's check it out all right guys so here we're in the bracket tournament here um I hope this all looks okay. Like I said, this is my first time doing this. But here we are. We got matchups going all the way down here. Matchups everywhere. So this is going to be a lot of fun here. And our first matchup here is we got Laurie Strode against the Predator. So we're in Camp Blood. It's at night. We're by the cabins. We got Laurie Strode doing her thing. Maybe she's babysitting. She's watching the kids. And a Predator is there. I am sorry, Laurie Strode. We love you, but you are not winning against the Predator. You may have survived against Michael Myers, but this Predator would kill you without you even knowing it. So the Predator is definitely going to move on here, man. It's, uh, yeah, it's the Predator's got her for sure. We got Jenny Fields against Leatherface. So we're in Camp Crystal Lake and Leatherface comes out of nowhere with a fucking chainsaw or Jenny Fields goes into a cabin, runs into Leatherface. Jenny used the chainsaw, though, didn't she? Oh, yes. She knows how to use one. I think Jenny would fare really well against Leatherface if Sally Hardesty beat Leatherface or at least escaped the nightmare. I think Jenny Fields would actually either get away or she, she might even even hurt Leatherface for sure. So I would definitely say Ginny wins that round for sure. All right. We got Sienna Shaw from the Terrifier against the Thing. This is tough, man. To me, this is tough because she took a beating from Art the Clown, but of course she could see Art the Clown coming, couldn't she? But if she didn't know who was the Thing, you know what I mean? Especially when her friend tried to drug her up and everything like that. I don't know. She would fare too well. Um, and this is a tough one for me. This is tough. Because uh, you know, I've only seen Sienna Shaw in one movie. So, But I think she does have some wits. She does have some intelligence. I think she would know what's going on. So, you know what? I'm going to go with my girl, Sienna Shaw. I may regret that one after, actually. Because the thing is awesome. It's It, it can hide. You know what I mean? But I'm going to give it to Sienna Shaw for that one. Next up, Tommy Jarvis versus Goatface. Tommy Jarvis wins this one, man. He took out Jason. You know, the fire around the boat. Jason cracks the boat. Mind you, Jason strangles him and Megan saves his ass. Ghostface can be violent, vicious. He can be sneaky. But he ain't sneaking up on no fucking Tommy Jarvis. I think Tommy Jarvis loads the shotgun and destroys his ass for sure. So I'm definitely going with my boy. Tommy Jarvis. Ooh, Nancy Thompson versus Chucky. Another interesting matchup here. Um, you know, Nancy went through it all with Freddie, didn't she? So she's spending the night at Camp Crystal Lake. Chucky comes along with his freaking nine millimeter there. Nancy kicks his ass without traps. She doesn't even need fucking booby traps with this guy. She faces Freddie. She kicks Chucky's ass. 
pretty easy. But I think it would be a great matchup, and I think would, this would be a cool matchup, and I think, you know, Chucky would be just blasting his one-liners off, but Nancy is just too resilient and too tough, man. So we got to go with Nancy Thompson. Sally Hardesty versus Freddy Krueger. I think Freddy gets the best of her, for sure. I think Freddy Krueger absolutely gets the best of Sally. It's a little unfair because we don't know much about Sally. You know, she ran from Leather. We know she could run, but you can't run in a dream, right? You can't run away from Freddy. He eventually will get you. And I just think, I just, my feeling, you know, with Sally, we don't really know a whole lot about her. Um, but if she's in Camp Crystal Lake, she's having a dream, and here comes Freddy walking along. I think Freddy just goes for the kill and gets her for sure. Ooh, Sarah Carter from The Descent against Michael Myers. The thing about Sarah Carter, she's already gone through the absolute worst pain you could possibly imagine. That was losing her husband, losing her daughter. The end of the descent, she goes freaking crazy. So let's say she comes into Cramp Crystal Lake, you know, little, little r and little vacation. You know, let's say that, that this is after the descent. She's kicking Michael's ass all freaking day. She would find a way. She would find a way to either get away from this guy or just take him out. So I know this may have upset a lot of people, but I'm sorry, Mikey. I am sorry, but this woman is fucking crazy and she would fucking kill you, man. She would absolutely destroy you. So, what can I say? Oh, cool matchup here. Trish Jarvis versus Norman Bates. Now, Trish Jarvis protecting a young brother. She's in Crystal Lake. She's at the house. Here comes Norman. I think these two would have a nice conversation. I think Norman would be getting a little turned on, and then the mother would be coming out, and then Big Mama would be coming out and... Oh, this is tough. I don't know, man. Trish is Trish is pretty in tune with what's going on with her surroundings. She's pretty in tune with everything. But you know what? I think Norman, he is too fucking sneaky, man. And I, I think, I don't think Trish would see this coming. You know, she's in the cabin, goes to take her shower. I think she's history. I'm sorry. I love me some Trish, but I think Bates gets her for sure all right we're on to round two of this little thing the predator versus jenny fields oh man you know this is this is another tough one jenny is jenny's smart though man like the way she tricked jason with the sweater if we look at the way she is in the movies she she has some weapons if she had a weapon or she doesn't have a if she doesn't have a weapon maybe she stands a chance with her smarts but i still think the predator gets her man so I would still say the Predator wins this one. Ooh, Sienna Shaw versus Tommy Jarvis. So now, now we're getting into final girl, final boy against, you know, each other. This is a this is a free for all, guys. Whoever's the last person standing wins. Now she can take a freaking beating. I don't think Tommy would have the heart to smack her around, but love all intents and purposes, if they were in a fight, either you or me. I think Tommy's winning this one. I think Tommy's winning this one. Ooh, Nancy versus Freddy. Well, we know how this one ended up, right? We got to go with Nancy Thompson here because she's already proven that she can beat Freddy twice. Although she did die in Dream Warriors, but she saved a bunch of the other kids. She would definitely be at Crystal Lake having her nightmares, but she'd be saving other kids from having nightmares. She'd be giving. Could you imagine her setting up all the freaking booby traps at Crystal Lake? Yeah, she. I think she has Freddy for sure. I'm going with Nancy for this one. Ooh, Sarah Carter versus Norman Bates. Now, this is another one. This is tough too because everyone always says, you know, I I, I, I watched this documentary once on, you know, Norman and you know Norman Bates. You put him with all these other iconic killers. You know, you turn the lights off once and turn them on. They're all dead and Norman Bates is left standing because he's sneaky. It can be cunning. You know, he's got a split personality, so you just don't know what he's capable of. And, you know, I got to go with Norman again on this. I mean, Sarah Carter, she, she's traumatized. She's freaking physically. She would probably just take him out, honestly. But I just don't think she would see it coming. 
I don't think she would see it coming, man. So got to go with some Norman. Alrighty, we're on round three, guys. Again, I, I don't know. I think Tommy has the best chance against the Predator here. Um, that we than the other people we've seen so far. I still don't think he wins, though. I think he'd put up an awesome fight, but I still think the Predator would win here. Oh, Nancy Thompson versus Norman Bates. Again, you know, this is difficult. I think I think Norman would love some Nancy, man. I think he'd be peeping through that peephole. He'd be peeping through that peephole and then again, drawing Mother out. But I actually going to think Nancy's going to hold up against Norman. I think she's just intuitive. You know, when she knows what's going on, she, she went, what, a week without sleeping, being terrorized by Freddy. Um, she's a survivor, and for that, you know, I, I got to give it to her, I think. I think I really do. Let's go with Nancy for the win there. The Predator versus Nancy. Oh, man. This is tough. This is the final now. This is the final for this side. For let's just, We'll call it side A, whatever you have you. So we're at Camp Blood. Nancy's setting up her traps. She's got no weapons. I think the Predator falls into her traps. I'm going with Nancy here. Um, I think it would be a great matchup to see, but let's go with Nancy because she's awesome. She's gorgeous. She's a fighter. She's a survivor, and Predator's all about surviving, right? So I'm going to go with Nancy. All right, we're going to the other side now, guys. Side B, let's just call it that. We got Maddie from Hush against Uncle Frank Frankenstein. Uh, this is interesting one. So we got Maddie who can't hear and she's a mute, right? She doesn't see Frankenstein coming. I'm, I think Maddie's resilient, but he got his hands on her. It might be over. It would depend on the situation. But remember, we're in camp blood here. You know what I mean? So maybe if she sees him outside the log cabin, she has a chance. But uh, I think I'm going to go with Uncle Frank here on this one. Sydney Prescott versus Billy. Oh man, you imagine Billy would be creeping Sydney out for sure. He he'd be creeping Sydney out, but Sydney's resilient. Sydney Prescott, you know, she she uh knows how to handle danger, man. And Billy is just a regular guy, you know what I mean? Um I think she, he would like sneak up on her, you know what I mean? But I think she would I think she'd be able to tackle Billy. I think she'd be able to handle it. So I'm going to go with Sydney Prescott here. Oh, we've seen this matchup before. Helen against Candyman. Now, Helen did die and became Candyman in her own right, her own kind of folklore legend. And it's a great movie about that. You know what I mean? But uh, I don't know, man. If, if Helen's the new Candyman, I'll go with Helen. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm going to go with Helen on this. Candyman's awesome. He he has a lure to him. Um, but I think I'm going to go with Helen here. Jess Bradford versus Art the Clown. Um, so Jess Bradford comes to Camp Crystal Lake for some Christmas. There's Art the Clown roaming around. Jess Bradford's pretty smart. I don't think she'd be fucking around. She'd be getting her ass out of there. I don't think she destroys Art the Clown, but I think she somehow gets out of there for sure. I, I, Jess Bradford's is smart. She's she's resilient. It's a situation I could see her getting away from without. Now, she, would she be traumatized? Yes. Would she be getting her ass would be getting handed to her at times for sure. But I'm going to go with my heart here and say Jess Bradford. Ooh, 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 Ellen Ripley against Dracula. Man, you know, Dracula's got that lure to him. He can, you know, he can suck you in and everything like that. This form of Dracula turns into a bat. I don't think there'd be no love connection between him and Ripley, but hey, man, Ripley survived the Xenomorph. I think she survives Dracula. I'm going to go with Ripley here. Oh, no, ho, <laughs> Sarah Connor, the badass against Jason Voorhees. I love you, Jason. Jason's the man. But I think Sarah is kicking his ass, man. She would find a way to destroy Jason for sure. Uh, she'd be blazing out with her knives, her guns. 
she'd be, you know, being heartless. She'd be like a Terminator taking him out. So I got to go with some some Sarah Connor here, man. She's be tough as nails. This would be an ultimate matchup for sure. My boy, Jason Voorhees going out in the first round. Man, can't handle it. RJ McCready from The Thing versus The Wolfman. You know, I think RJ McCready, you know, gets his bottle of scotch, gets his shotgun, his flamethrower, and he's destroying the wolf, man. This is RJ McCready, or at least to get away in his fucking helicopter and then have another freaking, uh, have, have, an, have another drink of scotch, right? <laughs> I got to go with my boy, Kurt Russell here. And then we got Xenomorph versus Aaron. Aaron's a survivalist. She's kick ass. I think Aaron takes out the Xenomorph. The Xenomorph is dangerous, but just it's like she's tougher than Ripley was in their first movie. So, you know, we're at Camp Crystal Lake. A bunch of freaking eggs are there. They're hatching. Here comes Aaron with her. She'd find a gun or something or an axe. She'd be taking out the uh, she'd have to find a gun. But if, if Aaron has a gun, whatever have you, the assault rifles, I think she's taking out the Xenomorph. All right, back to the top again. Sydney Prescott versus Frankenstein. I think Pr Sydney, you know, she has it in her to take out Uncle Frank, or at least you know whatever she, you know, light his house on fire, or you know he, she could also play some mind games and get on Frankenstein's side. I think you know what I mean. I think she'd pull that charm, like the little girl did. You know, she'd do something to get Frank on her side. So. I think I got to go with Sydney Prescott here for this one. Helen versus Jess Bradford. This is different. Are we talking Helen now after she becomes her own candy man? Like she becomes, you know, people are, you know, having saying Helen, Helen, Helen in front of the mirror. I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to go with Jess Bradford. Jess Bradford is a quite the final girl, you know, head on their shoulders, like I've already said. You know, I've already talked about a lot of these characters already now, so I, let's just go real quick here. I think I'm going with Jess Bradford here. Oh, Connor versus Ripley. Oh my goodness, would this not be the best cat fight you'd ever seen? I will give the leadership qualities the the Ellen Ripley, her being a survivor, but I'm giving the heartlessness how cold Sarah Connor can be how you know much of a leader she is sarah connor has learned to be a survivor she knows what's coming she's learned how to face she faced off against a terminator unstoppable machine i'm gonna give the edge here to sarah connor man i just think she would she would find a way to take out freaking ripley but this would be a matchup man rj mccready against aaron <laughs> axe axe against axe who's winning here you know what i mean Oh, my boy, RJ McCready. You know, we've seen him fight a little bit. You know what I mean? Where he punched Blair out and stuff like that. Um, I think he could handle himself. But I think if push come to shove, I think Aaron's winning this fight. You know, they're at Camp Blood. They both got axes. Who knows? Maybe Aaron's the thing. And RJ goes after her. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just joking here. I'm going to give the slight edge to Aaron here, I think. Sydney Prescott against Jess Bradford. Oh man, oh man. I think physically Sydney Prescott would fare better here. And I'm not the biggest guys, I'm being objective here. I'm not the biggest Sydney Prescott fan, but I think she would have the edge over Jess Bradford a little. And, and depending on what Sydney Prescott we're talking about, like the experience Sydney Prescott, you know what I mean? So I mean, they're both similar, getting the phone calls and everything. You know, they've both been in similar situations. But I I, I think uh, we just got to see a lot more Sydney Prescott and how she grew as a character. So I'll, I'm will i going to go with Sydney Prescott here. Sarah Connor versus Aaron. Sarah Connor's kicking her ass. Let's, let, let's be honest here. Sarah Connor's kicking her ass. Sarah Connor now against Sydney Prescott. <sighs> Good fight. I think it would be a good matchup, man, but I'm going Sarah Connor here. Oh, Nancy Thompson against Sarah Connor for the final, man. So we're at Camp Blood. We got Nancy looking after the kids. We got the cold-hearted, intelligent, 
tough Sarah Connor. I still think this would be a good one. Physically, Nancy is getting her ass kicked, man. Physically, you but you know, she does know how to set up traps. She is resilient. She's smart. But let's just, we got to be honest. We got to keep it real on Backtrack Cinema. Sarah Connor, man, is kicking ass. She is the last woman standing. So there you have it, guys. Sarah Connor is your winner there. There's the the image here, what we went through. Um, Pretty awesome. If I say so myself, this was a lot of fun, guys, going through all these characters, just spieling, just go shooting off the hip here. But um, that there you go. That is the Camp Blood Survival 32 or 16 Final Girls, 16 Horror Icons face off at a tournament last person standing. You know, this was, <laughs> this was very random. I didn't like they weren't seated in a way that was like worst to best. It was very random. I just eeny, meeny, miny, mo, basically. You know what I mean? Just but Sarah Connor, last woman standing at Camp Blood. Bring it on. She's she's saying who's fucking next. She's going, you're terminated, motherfucker. Just awesome, awesome, awesome stuff here, man. But yeah, that is it, guys. That is the bracket challenge. But let me know. What's uh where you would place all these things. And you know what? Let's take that a step further. I will put the link in this video to my bracket here where you guys can go and fill out your own bracket here. You could send it me, send it to me, post it on social media, all that jazz. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me on this tournament matchup. I really hope you guys liked all that. Please like, subscribe, share the video. Let me know what you think of this video and all that. And down below, I'll put a video there of something related that you guys can go down the rabbit hole on Backtrack Cinema. My name is Jason. You're watching Backtrack Cinema. I'll see you next time, and I'll see you in the movies. Cheers.